Well, good morning, everybody. I wanted to start off with just a little sample from the background from this piece. So we are going to be adding some actual color to the base colors that we had previously added. And as we know, the very background is going to be the part that is going to remain the coolest as well as it's going to be a bit more muted with the gray. And you can see a little bit of the gray tones that I'd added to both of these little areas, the white area as well as the little stripe area in the background there. So um, my goal here is to um, add just a, a bit of purple in some areas of the stripes as well as um, a little bit of um, blues and some other colors. So what I ended up doing um, I ended up adding this blue originally like your your base tone was more of this blue I added this blue just to cool things down just a little bit on the stripes and I'm gonna go into it and just add Just a little bit. This is the the plum color from your from your pack And I am actually just hatching at this point, just in the in the darker areas. When I get more into the lighter areas, I will add some little dots as I go. I'm not going just crazy heavy with it. And as I fade it out into some of the lighter areas, I'll add more dots. You're encouraged to mostly do pointillism in your background and really all over your piece, but if you have a really heavy area that's really stylized, um, I think that it's okay to do just some hatching or cross hatching in those spaces. So it uh, dramatically fades out. I'm gonna end up blending this up here, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a darker tone. So I would definitely use my lighter purple before I use my darker purple. So this is the darkest purple in your particular pack. And I'm just gonna go into it. It almost looks black. So I made little hatching lines and then I'm just gonna kind of fade and blend those out just with some dots. And then I'm gonna do the same thing here. And I'm just gonna make my little dots to kind of blend um, what I just did out a little bit. And to marry the two, the, the blue, as well as the purple that I had added right here, I'm just gonna take my marker and blend because the, the original base tone is that blue and I probably should have just extended that blue out just a little bit more so it would make a little bit more sense that there's um quite a lot of purple I mean the purple can't just stop it's got to kind of blend out as you as you go although you know we're, we're getting it kind of light light ish up here Just a little bit more purple, not not a whole lot. I'm just trying to make it sort of gel with what's going on here. So you wouldn't just stop the purple here. You would kind of take it and sort of dot it here and there to make it make sense. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to just warm it up just a little bit as I go out to the lighter area and I am going to gradually introduce just a little bit of yellow and I'm just going to kind of touch on the yellow as you go down and then I'll introduce just a, a little bit to my white as I go up because what I'm ultimately trying to do there is going to be a warmer section here I'm trying to kind of tie 
those things in together. So it's kind of like if you add one thing to one place, you, you do really need to try to work on um, making it make sense and unifying it everywhere in your piece. So it's just little touches of what what is there um, needs to go in other spots. So Okay. So at this point, I've got to decide, you know, do I want this to be a little bit more varied? Do I want this warmer? One of the things that I had done is I actually added orange to this just a little bit. So um, main thing, you know, you're going to go from more light to dark with your warmer application. So I went from yellow to orange. And I'm just going to add just little touches, not, not a whole lot of orange. I don't feel like it's, it's that much needed right there. But there's going to be some orangey areas here and in some other little areas like down here. So I'm, I'm more aware of it because I've already done the project. Okay, so in the background right here, this is relatively light compared to my purple stripes right there. But I still do have some other elements that I do want to add to this. So what I did was, especially in the darker areas, I did add the, it's kind of a, a medium blue in your pack. So I added that already to that base tone of blue that was that lighter blue in your pack to this along with I had some gray and stuff like that and that just kind of adds a, a little bit a little bit more atmospheric perspective right there um, what I ended up doing with this I ended up actually making this a little bit more warmer than what you're gonna see in the the stripes right there so I'm keeping it cooler where you have that cast shadow I'm just, I'm kind of trickling down the yellow where the cast shadow is so it makes sense that, you know, the yellow would bleed up there. And I'm spreading it out as I go up into the white areas. And I'm going to leave some white actually here in my little spots. So if you need to tone down... The yellow that you had added, if you feel like it's a, a bit too much, you can always add, I've got that lighter gray that's in your pack. I'm just sort of putting it here and there. You've got quite a lot of that gray there, so I'm trying to make it make sense that, that it is there. So it's kind of like if you do a little something down here, you've got to bring it on up here too as well. Um, because there is orange and other elements of my piece, I'm going to have, and especially like right here, I'm going to have um, orange just a little bit here. There's, you know, think when you're doing these things, think of reflective nature of, of light. You're going to have a little bit of this to kind of bleed on into this area as you work with your color. So anyway, so back here, although it is relatively a cool tone back here, there are elements that are warm to help to unify the piece. So it's not just a terrible thing to add a little bit of warm, all, although it needs to be more of a dominant thing when you, you think about a cool tone, as well as it needs to be more of a muted gray back here as opposed to everything else. So the next little video is going to be in the middle ground area.